Okay, Shake It, uh, my track I did this summer. I'm going to tell you something about um, the drum section again and um, how I did the arrangements. It sounds like that in the intro section. That's the, the first mix I did. It's called the Terrace Mix. It's based on quite a, a lot of, of tribal sounds. You can hear the drums and, and, and real toms. And that's uh, the intro transition. Yeah, I'm gonna show you the section here. It sounds like this. That's Logic 9, by the way. A kick drum as a loop. Um, I have some tribal sounds. For example, this is what I'm doing very often. I um, take a loop like this one here. And when I like just a short bit, I cut it up with Fatmatic. Um, and I use only the, the sound I really want to have in there. And this time it's those two notes here. So with the kick and the compression, sounds already nice. So then I have another, it's a very standard uh, loop, everyone knows it, it's, a, it's um, used very often and it's very low in the mix just to give some, some more groove to it. This one is filtered a lot, Here, the low end is cut. And um, I have com a sidechain compression, of course. So um, you can hear it pumping. Then we have this um, very, very low sound. You can't nearly hear it. But again, it just adds to the whole groove, to the all. So you can hear it. Also, there's a hi-hat loop going on, which is taken from the stylus. Uh, what is it here? Um, again, low cut. I mean, I use um, low cut filtering very, very often, especially on um, additional drum sounds because um, I want to just, hold on, won't you stop? Okay, um, I want to just give more space and frequency range to the bass drum and, the, and, and, and to the bass because they're going down. And um, I don't need all the, the low frequencies from the loops and from the percussion. Sometimes I need them to, to add more warmth to a mix, but for me it, it, it fits very well and, and I'm, I'm always doing um, the low cut filtering. Then we have um, another tribal loop. And last but not least, there's um, a tom sound. Just to add more Through the whole thing. And all together, the drum section. This one, kind of a sequence sound with a delay on it. It's um, the ES1. ES1 is perfect for bass sounds and for sequencing sounds because it's easy to use and uh, always sounds good and, and it fits very well in, in the mix. So um, it's a very simple sound and when I switch off all the plugins, you can hear it. Very boring. And what I did is uh, add some tape delay. Also the Logic one. 
Um, if you want to ask me um, what's my favorite plugin at all, and all in logic is the tape delay because it's just great and, and, and you can do everything with it. And when it comes to dub delays or uh, build ups uh, with growing delays, and it sounds old school, but you can tame it and you can really work with it and, and, and do lots of automation. On, um, on, for example, you can see it here. Let's switch the ES1. This is the mix level of the tape delay. You can see it, uh, it starts and it gets higher, then it drops down and is at the level again. And also with the feedback, I have a, an automation. And you can see here, let me just switch on the mix. You can see here the mixing, the mix level of the delay, and this is the feedback level. And when I play this one, you can see it's kind of self-feedbacking, and then it suddenly drops, in the, in, in, and then it goes back to normal. And so it's just easy going, and it's, it's perfect for, for build-ups like this. There it is. Um, also, I have some space designer um, on this sound. Let me see. Got a solo. Um, there's a, also an automation. You can see it here. It's the same. It's coming more and more. And then it suddenly drops. To get back to the zero level here. Okay. Um, and we have also. Um, any cue again, very, very um, much uh, low cut and some boost here in the, in the mid range. Um, of course, I have my side chain compressor and some high cut. Just get rid of the, the, the very high frequencies to make it sounding more smooth. You can see it starts very low and gets up until 16K. And that's enough. I don't want to have the high frequency, that, and so because it, it didn't fit very well in the mix and it was too much going on, and because the drum section is already taking this this space. Um, also, I have the the bleep sound together with this one. Just giving a nice groove. I have um, a sub bass, which comes from the ES1 again, with some um, Logic bass amplifier, with some guitar rig on it for distortion, with a compressor. I just open them up all and just to show you. And I have three low cuts. I often use the, um, the Logic low cut um, in a row, maybe two or three of them, just to get the, the filtering curve a little bit steeper. And I find it very easy to work with them because they don't eat up any CPU and um, you can just uh, put them in, dial them in at, at, at something around 70, 80 hertz. And you, so you can clean up the, the, the low end and to make some more space for the kick. You can hear, I, I just played without all the plugins. Very standard sound. Then I have the bass amplifier on here, this one, which gives uh, lots of uh, sub frequencies and, and, and it makes the bottom end sounding very bottom end very fat. You can hear it. This gives warmth. Then I have um, the low cuts. One, two, three. So um, um, yeah, what, what I'm doing here, I'm, I'm putting on um, some low end and again uh, afterwards I just uh, kill it again but the sub um, the bass amp from Logic also gives some 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 warmth to the whole sound and uh, that's what I really want from it and it makes the bass sound a little bit round and, 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 and it, it, it makes it more fit to the bass to the bass drum so we have all the filtering here and afterwards 
switch them off. Uh, we have the guitar rig for the comp uh, for the distortion. Let me play it here. It's just an amplifier and a cabinet. That's all I have put on here. And then, of course, the compressor. So this is, this is kind of sub bass, and then I have an, an, an the bass in the mid mid frequencies just to add more presence to the whole, to make it more present in the mix, the whole bass sound. This is um, Jupiter Eight. I can really recommend that. One, this is a great plug-in, uh, sounds really old-school analog and um, for basses it's, it's, it's just perfect. And the filter is, is also I mean, nice, nasty and dirty, whatever you want. Okay, and so I put them together. So you have the low end and the mid, mid-range section. And it sounds like like glued together, like like one. So that's that's what I wanted to have. Okay, then we have of course the original um, track, <laughs> "Shake It." Um, actually, for the club mix, I worked with a sample, but I also replayed the parts. And for the example, the piano. It's very low. I put, this is the bass line which is going on in the original track. You can hear it. And then I have um, a real bass sound. So the bass sound comes from a Logic plugin. It's the bass plugin, uh, it's just an electric bass sound with some um, bass amplifier again. To fatten it up, to warm warm it up a little bit. Then I have some EQing cut in the mid frequencies and, and low end, and um, compression again, sidechain compression. So the piano comes uh, from the ivory, very nice, and sounds sounds really good. Eats up lots of memory, but um, yeah, it's just worth doing that, and. Um, I just switched to this section where both are at higher volume. In this part, it plays uh, only the, the simple um, pattern, and then I have um, the sample here. Actually, it's, it's quite low in the mix, and when you put everything on, you rather cannot hear it, but it is there. Okay, let's go to the breakdown section. So you can hear the tom here, or the drum sound. It's one of the key elements in the mix. And um, I programmed it myself together with the um, this sound comes from the stylus. It's a jamba sound and yeah, it's from the core library, quite simple. And you can see in the, in the file here. I played um, not only one sound, but I, I had two sounds to make it just sound fatter. And some variations. You can see, so it, it sounds more realistic. I didn't just play it on one note, but I, I tried to, to give some, some atmosphere to it. Um, yeah, and the processing is um, just pretty much on it. First of all, I have a Compressor, it's um, again universal audio, the 1176, perfect for drums. Uh, you just dial in a preset and adjust a little bit and, and you get 
lots of power out of it. I, I use it very often for toms and, and, and for percussion things because it sounds very analog and um, yeah, you can really tame your sound. Then I have some space designer, very low, just to give it a little bit more ambient. Um, then we have the stereo delay. To make it wider, uh, some EQing. Also, tip for um, for percussion sounds: um, the Poltec Pro is perfect because, um, especially here um, in, in, in the mid range, you can uh, work out the important frequencies very well, and it sounds just amazing. It gives much much more presence to the to the drum sound, and uh, it, it makes the sound really sit in the mix. There's some boost in the low end as well. You can hear when you turn it up. And, and in the high end as well. I mean, this uh, plug-in, the Poltec Pro, I sometimes I just put it in without um, doing any, any um, EQing because it just gives a certain yeah, attitude to your sound. It, it, it's, it's really like the analog um, original and um, you can just Put it on vocals or drum sounds, everything which needs some more character. Perfect. Um, then I have um, cut at the low end again. And another nice tool is um, the SSL EQ. I mean, there's quite quite a lot on 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 this track, and maybe you say, um, oh, he puts um, this EQ and that EQ and. But um, for me, every EQ has a certain character or signature sound. And for example, the Paltec is for the warmth, and um, the Q4 is perfect for, for cutting, the, cutting away all the bass frequencies without um, affecting the rest. And now the SSL is, again, very nice sounding. And you can, especially here in the high and, and mid frequency range, you can, can do a lot with it. And um, so um, I crank this up a little bit to add even more presence to the drums and I just cut down a little bit the low frequencies. So now it's, it's the, the, the jambe is cutting through the mix, but it's, it has much energy, but, energy, but it's not um, um, yeah, clashing with the other sounds. That's what I wanted to have because it's a signature sound and it has to be very present. And what else do we have? Some high cut, and I have a limiter because um, all these very uh, these percussive instruments have very high transients, and I want to cut them. You can see it's working very hard here. It's just to get some more control in the mix. It, it doesn't affect the sound very much, but you have um, much more room to, to, to crank it up in volume. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much. The drum section. Okay, we're in the breakdown section now. It sounds like that. So all the filters are up, and um, now it's uh, going here, let's go here. Let's go here to the build up section, where a new synth is coming in. This one here. This is uh, pretty much the signature sound of the following section. It's that one. So, um, this sound, let me solo it. It's the silent. Um, I put on some, let me see, I open them all up. Dry sound sounds like this. It's just a preset you can get out of the sound to keep it cicada. And what I did is put on some. Let me see. Here it's the some EQ. It's the API from uh, Waves. It's good for yeah if you want to tweak the the highs, mids, and lows just in a very simple way. There's only three things you can do and. I just 
worked out a, worked a little bit on the highs, high frequencies and the mid frequencies to, to get some more presence in the sound. Then um, I have the space designer, which is only there for um, for the build up section. Here, I go back to this one. You can see the automation is going up here. It goes back to zero. Okay, the EQ again, low cut and some mid and high boost, so it doesn't clash with any of the low frequencies because um, it has to work together with the bass. you don't hear them and that's why I cut them out. Okay, what else do we have? It's um, the compressor, side chained again with the seven bus is the, is, the, is the kick drum, the BD comp, which is um, just a side chain uh, kick here. You can see it, it's running, uh, but there's no output assigned, so it's affecting all the bass sounds with this one. Okay, what else do we have on this sound? There's a high cut. You see, I just use it here for um, build-ups or whatever. Um, and I have the... No, Paltech EQ again to boost it a little bit here and uh, mid and high range and here at uh, 100 hertz is a little bit of boost. Okay, and so it sounds like that. Yeah, that's pretty much it. All the elements of the mix. Um, at the end, there's still uh, some claps going on. Just to support a little bit the rhythmic structure for, uh, of the sample, so that, we, that I don't lose um, the groove. You can see it. I just use it to, to keep the people dancing, actually. Because if you, if you switch it off, there is some kick drum going on, but it's it's very low in the mix, so just to keep the groove rolling. Yeah, and then we go to the end. You see the build up here, for example. This is the reverb. You can see it here. Very dry again. Yeah, that was um, how I did shake it, the terrace mix.